All right. Uh, first of all, good to see everybody back and uh, ready to go. Just on the injury front, um, B.J. Thompson will start on uh, NFI. Um, he's still going through some procedures. He's doing great, but he's, he's going through some procedures um, a, as we talk here. So um, he'll, keep, he'll keep going with that, and then we'll have a, keep you updated as we go. On the PUP list, um, Jalen Watson, uh, Omenihu, Nadi, and Tooney will probably start on that. Uh, we still have a few days before all that goes on, but uh, we'll just see how see where we're at um, with that. And really, those are the those are kind of the main guys that that um, that were were injured. Chanel will be up here, uh, Nazi will be up here, and Worthy uh, will be back. He's doing well. You just saw him come in, so he's doing well uh, on his rehab from his hamstring. So, uh, all in all, listen, we look forward to being back here. We. Uh, love the setup here with the, the people here treat us great at Missouri Western State University and um, it's beautiful facilities. It's great to be able to get away and uh, from the city and be able to uh, house guys in the same dorm and uh, I'm saying this as a coach, but they're probably not going to say this, but, but it builds a certain camaraderie um, a, as you go and, and you're eating together, you're uh, sleeping in the same building together, so it's um, you can't help but talk to each other. And in today's world, that's a that's a positive thing. So, um, anyways, uh, time's yours. Andy, what are your expectations for the four guys on PUP that you listed when they might be back? Yeah, I think they're all a little different. And listen, something might happen different by the time we get the vets in here, and we have to do it. I was just giving you a heads up on kind of what we're thinking there. On that as we start, so but they'll we'll see how they all whether they get cleared or not cleared. Specifically with Joe Tooney, I mean he's, he's doing Joe's doing great, and he's he's close close. So, so you don't expect it to be long if he can't practice right away. I don't think it will be, but I, we'll see, Adam. We'll just see how it, how it goes. Coach, is Xavier worthy now a full go after missing the OTA? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. We'll ease him. We'll ease him in. Um, you know, we're not going to just. Give them every rep, so the, the the lines are kind of short here, right? So, uh, all right. Following up on that, yeah. how, how valuable will the, this next three days be for a player like Xavier before the veterans arrive on over the weekend to just get reps yeah. and get time in with Patrick? Yeah, this is great. I, I think it's great for all these guys just to get in and um, become familiar, go through it one more time. And, and, and before the veterans get in, everything's going 100 miles an hour. So it's slowed down. Uh, they'll get the same install, the first three installs for uh, when the vets get in. And so it's a, I think it's a real positive for everybody, and especially Xavier, who didn't have the opportunity to be out on the field, just going through those routes and doing what he needs to do there will also be positive. Andy, I know you guys fight complacency, but how in the world? I mean, you guys went two straight Super Bowls, a lot of those guys back. How do you keep guys from to be hungry and still back? Yeah, so I, I think we all know the in the NFL, um, every year is its own year. And we, we've said that every year along the way here. And so you've got to stay on top of your game. You've got to practice. You've got to go through this uh, camp uh, and, and be in condition so you can perform well mentally and physically um, uh, once the games come around. So it, it's all it all starts from scratch and it happens over. We talked about it in the off season and um, I think the guys will be ready ready to go. How much do you rely on guys like Pat and Kelsey, your few veteran leaders, to sort of get that message across? Yeah, they're great with it. That's what I was saying before we had the break. I appreciate that leadership, Chris Jones. Uh, Bolton. I mean, these guys that have been around here, they uh, they they do a nice job. When coaches, when players start helping players out and helping them understand what's going on, normally you have a pretty good thing going. And these guys, we're lucky to have that leadership. How do you see that? Like, what what specifically do you see that you like from those guys? Yeah, they they go 100 miles an hour and they make everybody around them go 100 miles an hour. So while the coaches are kicking them a little bit, uh, the players uh, are kicking them. And that peer pressure, there's nothing like that. Andy, Coach, where does last year's like regular season sit as far as do you, do you mention that to the guys as, as an example for the ways you need to get better? Just where does that yeah, work? so we talked a little bit about it in the off season. Um, that won't be a big a big thing coming into this camp. 
Um, the guys know we had our ups and downs. I, I just expect uh, the young guys that were here last year to continue to build on what they finished with. I thought we finished strong on both sides of the ball and special teams. <clears throat> it's important that you, and, and we had a nice off season where we were able to practice some of the kickoff, kickoff return stuff. Um, and so let's pick up where we, where we left off and, and get better. Andy, what is it about Patrick that makes you know that he's just getting hungrier instead of more satisfied? What, what, what's inside him that yeah. tells you the, that? The one great thing about Patrick is he's always going to work in his game, and then he always wants more. And so uh, as coaches, you can't ask for more than that. And that's why we're in it. We're trying to give you one more nugget, Vahe, so you can be greater than you already are. Right? And so, <laughs> so that's, that's the, what the great players do. They, they want you to dig as a coach and find something, man. Give me something here that can, can help me and become better than what I am. And Andy. one other thing just is about where we're standing. I get the feeling if you guys had a five-star hotel available right here, you wouldn't take it. You'd, you'd, you'd be here. And there's a reason for that. Like, what, what is it you get out of the Spartan aspect yeah. of this? Yeah, well, listen, I don't want to slight the university because they, they actually renovated here a little bit and, and done some things in here. But your wishes, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I look forward to our meeting at the end of this where, where you guys get a taste of it. But the center blocks are still center blocks, no matter how you cut it. <clears throat> well, I'm sure we, most of us have been in those buildings before, so we – uh, that part hasn't changed. It seems like dorms are kind of, uh, uh, that's the way they are everywhere. So. And, and is there something to that, though, that it's like you, you want the conditions to be, you know, understood to be kind of grueling? Yeah, li listen, you, there's a certain toughness that this game, uh, you know, requires. <laughs> and, and so, um, and I, I think if you talk to the old veterans, they're going to tell you, well, it's not as tough as it used to be, but it's um, there's still a part of it that is it's a tough guy sport and uh, and lady sport for where we're going with all the flag football and that. So it's a, there's a it, there we've got that that part of it uh, going, and it's important that you develop that. And if you're fatigued, then you're going to be fatigued mentally. If you're fatigued physically, that's going to affect you mentally. And if you're fatigued, period, then you can't think and you can't play at least not to the best of your ability. So the objective here is let's get ourselves in shape, make sure we're in football shape. They're all going to come back in shape, but let's get ourselves in football shape, uh, both mentally and physically, <clears throat> so that we can perform at our best. And I, the guys understand that. I mean, that makes sense. So we try not to ask the guys to do anything that, um, that, that doesn't make sense. And if they have a question, ask us. I mean, everything's got a purpose of why we do it. And, um, and ask if you don't know. So that's... That's kind of what, how we go about it. And you talk about and with you. regard to Rashid Rice, what are you expecting in terms of the suspension? Yeah, I don't, I don't know that, Adam. Um, I haven't heard anything up to this point. Um, so I just let the, all the people in charge do that, um, that, that are looking over that part of it. And you talk about you talk about easing worthy in. I mean, we talked to Patrick, and he just said there's no easing him in. Like he's yeah. going to get that that regular rookie, you know, water people fire rookie. Sure. Just yeah. how, how important is that for young boys to get? Yeah, I think you know he's looking forward to it. Actually, I think so. I, he he wants to get in there and go. It was driving him crazy to to have to watch. You don't want to be the number one pick, come in and be sitting on the bench, you know, and and watching. So uh, he's a competitive kid that wants to be in there, um, and we're going to get him going. Uh, we just, you know, we got to see how he's doing here. And like I said, in this rookie camp, these lines are short. So they're going to get plenty of reps. Um, you just don't want him re-hurting the thing and Andy, setting himself back. Andy, when it comes to the evolution of the offense every offseason, you know, what are your conversations like with Patrick trying to make sure that you keep putting in different wrinkles and everything? How does that start here in camp? In yeah, it actually starts um, in the OTAs. Uh, that's where you, you introduce all of the new stuff to the guys, and and then you get reps on it now. So you get a few in the in the OTA, but now you get reps and reps and reps on that on the new stuff. So it'll be great for the guys to be able to get that and and kind of perfect some of these things that that we've tried uh, to incorporate. All right, guys, we've got time for a few more. So Lebo, Matt, Derek, and then Mick. Go ahead, Todd. Coach, uh, we see what a lot of your guys do on the off season and, and because they're on social media. You don't have a very big social media presence. And I don't think you like it that way. But did you have some fun? And I know you like to work and draw plays. Did you have any 
revelations, any good stuff that you found in those hours? I don't know about revelations. I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> um, but um, I had a chance to look at our, our stuff. I try to spend a little time doing that um, uh, when I'm away, and I enjoy doing that part. Uh, and as far as relaxing, absolutely, I had a chance to do, do that. And I got a little sun and a um, little beach air, and that's good, right? So, but I'm, I'm ready to go, and I know, I know these guys are ready to go. I know you're ready to go, man. That, that right hand is ready to roll, man. <laughs> <laughs> Matt? Coach, uh, I believe you and the Raiders are the last two teams standing that don't do any joint practices. I know you, you said before you don't want to give anything away for free. Is that kind of still your philosophy, or do you think you've ever changed on that? Well, I think the way we go about it, um, I, I think we, we go fast, we practice hard, we, we do those things amongst ourselves, and, and the guys challenge each other, and I don't think there's a, a better way to do it if your guys are willing to do that. And, and our guys, uh, challenge, they, you know, they're, they're up for that challenge. Plus, you're not giving things away, so you can't help but do that, and, and then you're not having those skirmishes that you, you get in some of these um, these inner squad deals and no matter how much you talk it's still you put on a different uniform you're the enemy <laughs> it doesn't matter you know, it doesn't matter uh, if it's joint practices or not last one Nick. I got a tough one um, you gonna be in a movie how are your acting chops I'm not real good at that but I only had about seven words I could handle that I can handle seven words what was the line no, I can't. I'm under contract. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. All right. All right. Thank you.